Now there's an amazing new feature that's been integrated inside of Dreamweaver's CS5 and as you can see up at the top here you can learn more about this feature by going to the CS Live services and in order to use any of the CS Live features what you have to do is to actually set up yourself with an Adobe ID and you can um, actually opt into the CS Live services and there's a number of great services available although the one that I'm talking to you about right now is something called Browser Lab which is really kinda cool and basically what these uh, you'll have a full year's worth of the CS Live service as soon as you sign in and get yourself all set up and when you do notice this right above your CS styles you should have by default the Adobe Browser Lab window. If you double click it, you can open and close it just like that. If you don't see it, you can always go to Window and then go to your um, Browser Lab as well. And when you are looking for your Adobe Browser Lab, just remember here you can always go to the Adobe Browser Lab Help, About the Browser Lab, different things like this. So once you've you got yourself set up, you can just hit the preview button and as you can see here what I'm attempting to do is to preview my particular page that we've been working on whether it's a fixed pixel or a liquid based design whatever the case may be and what browser lab will do is really quite amazing notice here if you were to go to the home section on browser lab you'd have some information some news and updates tips and tricks which are really good great ways to sort of see what you're doing and understand it browser sets well here's the idea of browser lab basically what it's attempting to do is to determine and to preview what your browser what your website will look like in Firefox 3.0 as you can see I've got that checked off for Mac and for Windows I've got Internet Explorer 7 for Windows you could get 8 as well Safari 3.0 for Mac you know so there's all kinds of different things that you can do in here and these are the browser orders and you can check off which ones you want now if we do go to the test area it'll take a little while but it should load for all of your browsers and what do you mean by all of the browsers well check it out you can go to the views you can say show me one up and one up is showing you Firefox 3.0 for the Mac and that's what your website looks like if we did the two up version check it out look this is Firefox for OS X on the Mac Safari for OS X on the Mac well what if I wanted to see what the Windows version of Firefox looks like ah look at that you see the difference in the text there's no anti-alias being applied to the text as there is here with the outlines on a Mac as it is in Firefox on Windows so see by previewing in this fashion you know you kinda look at things and you say mm, you know maybe I don't like the way my text looks here let's look at it in Internet Explorer 7 well you can see the text does look a little bit better the default text than it did in the other browser Firefox on Windows so nevertheless you see all of these things are really great and are necessary for you to understand now check out this one it's really cool called onion skin notice right now it's saying Firefox OS X and here's Firefox for Windows and look right now 5050 just showing you what things are looking like and remember how we were talking about margin issues inside of uh, different browsers right and for example if I were to choose the Internet 7 Internet Explorer 7 look at that big spacing difference here and there and as you can see this is just OS X this is just Internet 7 or IE 7 and you can see how the positioning sort of does change so you've really got to be flexible when you're building out your pages and it's so important to test out your work now if this was actually uploaded to a server if I had that information and by the way look you can even set up rulers in here and you can sort of see exactly how many pixels things are and where they're looking and what they look like and you could even move this let's imagine that I wanted this to be you know zero zero right here and if you did want that to happen you know you could just take that and reposition it as I'm doing right there and we could really get a sense look it's almost like 50 pixels off between what well that's what it is on Firefox and OS X and look at the difference inside of Internet Explorer 7 right so there's barely any pixel amount any pixel space that's been given 
there, but you can see it here against the edge. And again, if you don't want to have that, you can move now your elements back to where we had it before. So you just have to click here and just come in there and let go. And now you've got your zero, zero positioning back again. So as you can see, it's just sort of showing you the differences between those two. Really kind of cool thing. Now, if this was on a server, you could just come in here and, you know, www.whateverapple.com, for example. And as you can see, you can request it to happen over here in Firefox 3.0 or in Windows. This seems to have failed anyways. We'll see what's what's the reason for that. We could retry. And you see it's showing me what the Windows version is. No, it wasn't able to reload it. Anyways, I must have made a mistake or something. Nevertheless, right, as you can see, there's a lot of different things that you can do and you can work with the different browser sets. Also, there's different languages here and hotkeys. You can see your uh, different shortcuts. For example, if you want to go through the left and the right browser visibility, you can use your arrow keys, you can use your number keys for one, two, up, uh, up and down arrows for next and previous, right? So if we were to go to in the test and here we are at Windows 7, let's see, did it actually load? Yeah, see, so now if I go down, it'll go to Safari OS X or Firefox for window, Internet Explorer for window, or up arrow, we can go previous, See, so it's all different ways of showing that. And again, if you wanted to show the onion skin effect, you can really get to see the difference between your, your or what your website looks in different browsers. So Adobe Browser Lab is a really cool addition inside of the new CS5.